So in this video, we're going to be talking about bin locations and how to move parts from one bin to another. Now, an example of this would be that I've got a showroom floor and I've got parts in a, on an aisle or something up there that, that I'm selling to customers directly. And I also have some in the back. Um, and I'm wanting to move five of the parts from the back up to the front so that I can relocate them basically. Um, to do this, what we're going to do is we're going to first go locate the item that we want to move. Um, so to do that, we're just going to go to parts and then locate item. And once we find the part, we're going to come down here to the very bottom and it's going to give you a list of all of your current inventory locations. So it'll tell you, in this case, this particular database actually has multiple locations. Um, so not only do I have multiple bin locations, but I also have mul multiple stores uh, in this environment. Um, so right now, if we look here, we have nine of these items that are actually in the uh, bin location for A1 in the store one location. And I want to actually move two of those parts from A1 into P1, which is the, the bottom bin that you see here. So to do this, what we're going to do is select the pencil. And when we select this, it's going to give us the option to move the, the parts. Now, by default, it highlights or it brings up all of the current quantity. So you can see here we have nine of these in stock, and it has set this to move all nine of them. We don't want to do that in this case, so we're just going to highlight this and change it to two because we only want to move two of these to the other location. And then we're going to click here in the bin location field, and we're going to come down here and choose the bin. Now we can type in this and it'll narrow down our results. Um, by default, it's going to bring up a list of all of the bin locations that this part has been in previously. Um, so all I'm going to do here is select the P1 bin to move this to. And so looking at this, we have, we're telling it that we want to move two of the parts to bin P1-A1. Um, and then all we do is hit the save icon to save that. And then you'll notice that when it comes back, um, we now have seven of those in the A1 location and we have three of those in the P1 location.